Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Om Vishnu Pad Paramahans Parivraj Kachare Stot Shat Jagad Guru Shila Bhakti Vallav Tirth Goswami Maharaj Ji Ki Jai Jai Nitya Leela Pravishto Om Vishnu Pad Paramahans Sri Sri Mad Bhakti Deit Madhav Goswami Maharaj Ji Ki Jai जय श्री श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभु पाद की जय जय श्री रूपानुग गुरु वर्ग की जय पंच तत्वात्मक गौर हरि की जय राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपी गोवर्धन वृंदावन राधा कुंड श्याम कुंडात्मक श्री ब्रज मंडल की जय तुलसी देवी भक्ति देवी की जय सर्व विघ्न विनाशकारी भक्त वत्सल भगवान श्री नरसिंह देव की जय प्रहलाद महाराज की जय नामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय जय परम पूज्य पाद श्रीला भक्ति रक्षक श्रीधर देव गोस्वामी महाराज जी की जय परम पूज्य पाद श्री श्रीमद भक्ति सौरभ भक्ति सार गोस्वामी महाराज जी की जय तिरुभा तिथि पूजा महामहोत्सव की जय जय परम बुद्ध पाशला भक्ति हृदय बन गो स्वामी महाराज की जय तिरोभा तिथि पूजा महा महोत्सव की जय जय परम बुद्ध पाशला भक्ति प्रमोद पुरी गो स्वामी महाराज जी की जय जय परम बुद्ध पाशला भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज जी की जय त्रिदंडी पाद गण की जय हरिनाम संकीर्तन की जय गुरु कथा श्रवण पिपासु भक्त वृंद मातृवृंद वैष्णव वृंद की जय गोकुल गोशाला की जय गो माता की जय ग्वालपाड़ा धाम की जय हरिनाम संकीर्तन की जय संकीर्तनकारी भक्त वृंद की जय गोर प्रेमानंदी हरि गोर वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्री युत पद कमलम श्री गुरु वैष्णवांश श्री रूपम सागर जातम सहिगन अर्घनाथान वितम तम सजीव साधुवेतम सावधूतम परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पादा सहिगना ललिता श्री विशाखान्ता ओम ज्ञानती मीरंध से ज्ञानांजना शलाक्य चक्षुर्मीत तस्म श्री गुरवे मंच कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु वै वचा पतिता पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो महावदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय ते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिने गौरत्षेन पंच तत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वूपक भक्तावतार भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्त शक्ति सप्त कांचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विश्वभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते वृंदाय तुलसी दिव्य प्रियाय केशव विष्णु भक्ति प्रदे देवी सत्यवत नम यो नृसिंह पर नृसिंह यो यो यामी तथो नृसिंह बहिर नृसिंह हृदय नृसिंह नृसिंह मादि शरण प्रपदे नमस्ते नृसिंहाय प्रहलादाय हिण्य कशि पुर्वक्ष शिला टंक नागीश ये वदने लक्ष्मी हृदय संवित नृसिंह श्री नृसिंह जय नृसिंह जय जय नृसिंह प्रहलादेश जय पद्मक पद्मा श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गुदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे श्री गुरु कथा श्रवण कीर्तन में आज सात जुलाई 
मंगलवार सावन मास द्वितीया चतुर्मास प्रारंभ हो चुका है और चतुर्मास में गुरु कथा से बढ़कर कुछ नहीं गुरुदेव की अहेतु की कृपा हम परम सौभाग्यशाली गुरु जी के बारे में श्रवण कीर्तन स्मरण करने का अवसर प्रदान हो रहा है आज हमारे गुरुदेव के गुरु वर्ग श्रीला भक्ति हृदय बन गोस्वामी महाराज जी का भी तिरोभाव है और श्रीला भक्ति स्वरूप भक्ति सार गोस्वामी महाराज जी का भी तिरोभाव है उनकी भी हम कृपा प्रार्थना करेंगे सबसे पहले भक्ति सौरभ भक्ति सार महाराज जी के बारे में बताया कि वो पूर्व बंगाल यानी जो बांग्लादेश है वहां के खुलना डिस्ट्रिक्ट में उनका आविर्भाव हुआ बचपन का नाम नंदू दुलाल इंजीनियरिंग पढ़ी रेवन शाह कॉलेज कटक में वहां पे ब्रज बिहारी दास बाबा जी के कॉन्टेक्ट में आए और कटक के जो गोड़िय मठ के इंचार्ज थे वो बाबा जी महाराज जी रोज चैतन्य चरितामृत पाठ करते और वो सुनने आते नंद दुलाल जी जो कटक में इंजीनियरिंग कर रहे थे बाबा जी महाराज बाहर से कोई ज्यादा पढ़े लिखे नहीं थे लेकिन वो इतने भाव से चैतन्य चरितामृत पाठ करते कि बड़े बड़े एजुकेटेड प्रोफेसर वो भी मटके शिष्य बन गए उनकी कथा सुन के बाबा जी ब्रज बिहारी बाबा जी महाराज जी के सिंपलिसिटी से नंद दुलाल जी भी बड़े प्रभावित हुए और हर रोज उनका संग करने लगे और यहीं से उनके मन में बीज अंकुरित हुआ श्रीला प्रभुपाल जी से कृपा लेने का इस प्रकार जब उन्होंने अपने घर में बात की उनके पिताजी ने उनको इनकरेज किया तो ठीक है मैं स्वयं तुम्हें लेके जाऊंगा और उनके चरणों में समर्पित करूंगा उनके माता पिता दोनों श्रीधाम मायापुर आए और उनको प्रभुपा जी के चरणों में डाल गए हरि नाम दीक्षा तीनों को मिली और तब से उनका नाम हुआ नौनी गोपाल ब्रह्मचारी मायापुर में दीक्षा लेने के बाद और पिताजी ने उनको सौंप दिया और कहा कभी वापस नहीं आना मुझे भूल जाना और मुझे बड़ा मान होगा अगर तुम तो मेरी ये बात मानोगे तो तो इस प्रकार के पिता मिलने दुर्लभ है संसार में सही से परम बंधु सही पिता माता श्री कृष्ण चरण जय प्रेम भक्ति दाता चैतन्य मंगल ही हु गिव्स यू लविंग डिवोशन फॉर द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री कृष्णा इज योर अल्टीमेट फ्रेंड योर फादर एंड योर मदर ही हु गिव्स यू लविंग डिवोशन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री कृष्ण तो नानी गोपाल ब्रह्मचारी इन नाइनटीन थर्टी वॉज अपॉइंटेड ए टीचर इन ठाकुर भक्ति विनोद इंस्टीट्यूट इन श्रीधम मायापुर विच इज वेरी क्लोज टू योग पीठ एंड ही वॉज गिवन एडिटोरियल सेवा ऑफ गोडियम डेली न्यूज पेपर दैनिक नदिया प्रकाश एंड ऑल्सो ही स्टार्टेड प्रीचिंग इन मैनी सिटीज इन इंडिया ऑन द ऑर्डर ऑफ श्रीला प्रभुपाल 
after the disappearance of Srila Prabhupada, he remained under the guidance of Bhakti Sanang Goswami Maharaj, who gave him sannyas and gave him Sri Srimad Bhakti Soro Bhakti Sar Goswami Maharaj name. He became editor of Sri Sarswat Gauriya, a monthly magazine of Gauriya Sangha. Srila Maharaj contributed to service of Srila Prabhupada's Brihat Mridanga, his printing press. Additionally, in Vrindavan, he managed the Inli Talamat for a long time. He is responsible for his stunningly beautiful preservation. Whenever our Param Guru Deva, Srila Bhakti Dait Madhav Goswami Maharaj, would visit Vrindavan, so Bhakti Sargo Swami Maharaj would always visit him. Their relationship was very sweet and respectful. Without fail, Srila Maharaj would always insist on bringing Guru Maharaj to Imlitala, where he would serve Guru Maharaj and all his devotees prasada. So after Srila Goswami Maharaj's disappearance, Srila Bhakti Sargo Swami Maharaj appointed Acharya of Gaudiya Sangha. But upon encountering various disturbances, he regarded his appointment as unfavorable for his practice of bhakti and promptly resigned. He submitted his resignation letter in person to the concerned parties, thus demonstrating his complete lack of conceit and selfishness. His simplicity was boundless and he was entirely Nishkinchana. He accepted Krishna as his only wealth. Through his personal example, Srila Maharaj established that a sadhaka must give up all that is unfavorable for the practice of bhakti. He was not attached to the prestige that comes with a high-ranking position. Rather, he was interested only in rendering service to Sri Hari, Guru and Vaishnavas. We should be careful not to conclude that Srila Bhakti Sargo Swami Maharaj gave up his service. He simply decided to perform that service in a situation he found more favorable for the execution of Bhakti. After resigning, he established a Martin Suri, West Bengal, where he once invited Guru Maharaj to deliver a series of lectures. So this way, we are very fortunate to have such Guru Varga like Bhakti Sar Goswami Maharaj. So today is also uh, disappearance day of Srila Bhakti Hride Ban Goswami Maharaj. And Ban Goswami Maharaj also appeared in East Bengal. And he met Gaudiya devotees in Dhaka during his college time. Then his name was Sri Narendra Bandho Padhyay. He was exceptionally bright student, liked both by teachers and other students. He displayed a natural aptitude for drama and theater. And because he had studied in an English medium school, he was fluent in English. Sri Narendra was his father's 10th and youngest son and was also very dear to him. After he finished his collegiate studies, his father fell seriously ill and due to this, some of his family moved from their village and rented an apartment in Nandariya Pali, Dhaka. So it, this is Dhaka where Bhakti Hride Bango Swami Maharaj met Guriyamat devotees and he became so much inspired to meet Srila Prabhupada, he came to Calcutta and he surrendered to Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta. Our Guru Maharaj, Paramaradhyatam, His Divine Grace, Srila Bhakti Vallabh Tirtha Goswami Maharaj, has very close relationship with both Bhakti Sar Maharaj and Ban Goswami Maharaj. Guru Maharaj used to Tell about them in his Harikatha. 
I remember when Guru Maharaj used to visit uh, Vrindavan, especially Sanatan Goswami Samadhi. On the way, he will visit Ban Goswami Maharaj Mat on that road where we have our Vinod Vani Bodhiya Mat. And there he will take us of our Arnam. So, our Guru Maharaj used to go to Ban Goswami Maharaj to meet him. And Guru Maharaj mentioned that Ban Goswami Maharaj having, was having a basement, a small room downstairs under the ground where he performed penance for many, many years. So, Ban Goswami Maharaj was also having cows. But he was not uh, using this milk. He was distributing this milk to the Brajavasis. So when some inmates of their mud asked Gurudev, on their asking, Guru Maharaj asked Ban Goswami Maharaj, Maharaj, please uh, share some milk with your disciples also. Ban Goswami Maharaj smiley said, I can share, but they are very young and their senses are very strong. So that is why I try to keep them in sattvic mood and not to make their senses uh, disturbed. So Guru Maharaj said, this is affection of Guru. Even by not giving milk, he is thinking welfare of his disciples who can understand this point. So Ban Goswami Maharaj was one of those earliest disciples of Srila Prabhupada who went to Europe, Western uh, world for preaching. He translated Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu in English. He was given honorary doctorate by Oxford University. He met Kivina of England. He met very intellectual class of people there. And he was very impressive in delivering sermons. His language in English was full of spiritual transcendental words. If you get chance to read his writings, you will be very much amused and impressed. So today, we pray for the causeless mercy of Srila Ban Goswami Maharaj and Srila Bhakti Sad Maharaj on their disappearance day. Whenever we talk of Shiksha Gurus of our Guru Maharaj, we are filled with so much awe that how our Guru Maharaj had maintain so close, affectionate relations with his Shiksha Gurus. And they used to love our Guru Maharaj so much. So that is the special quality of our Guru Maharaj. And uh, maintaining this affectionate relation with Shiksha Gurus, one can always see that Gurudev was firmly attached to his Diksha Guru, Srila Bhakti Daith Madhav Goswami Maharaj. So, having firm devotion to Diksha Guru and having very close relation with Shiksha Gurus is what our Guru Maharaj has taught with his own example, which is marvelous. Today I was reading a post in social media that there are some people who ignore their Diksha Guru service, who ignore their Diksha Guru and who run after their Shiksha Guru, who outwardly 
is very opulent. So what kind of behavior is this? We cannot ignore our Diksha Guru. But we should give reverence to Shiksha Gurus also. But it is only because of Diksha Guru that we got this spiritual life, spiritual birth. We are indebted to our Diksha Guru. So we should be Kritagya. If we are not Kritagya to Diksha Guru, how can we have bhakti? How can we progress in our spiritual life? Our Diksha Guru has given us the Bij Mantra. So he is the one who initiated us, who took our responsibility. How can we ignore the seva, the service of Diksha Guru? Although we may have many, many Shiksha Gurus, but Diksha Guru is very, very important. One pointed devotion to the lotus feet of Diksha Guru is the uh, requirement, is the necessity of our spiritual life. And this is exhibited by our Guru Maharaj personal example. Because he never compromised on his absolute dedication dedication for his Diksha Guru. No compromise. He gave all his life for the instructions of his Diksha Guru. And he took advice from Shiksha Gurus only to be able to serve his Diksha Guru in a better way. So that should be the criteria. Because if we do not have Guru Bhakti, everything is gone. What is the use if we do not have Guru Bhakti? Guru Maharaj speaks in Guru Tattva that Guru Deva in human form, the best amongst all living beings, is my only object of worship. My Shri Gurudeva is a manifestation of the pastimes of Vishnu Vigra. As his absolute counterpart servitor. My Gurudeva is absolute counterpart of Bhagavan. Though he is God's dearest Vishnu Vigra, yet he is dwelling in the hearts of all living beings of the world in the form of a Vaishnava to rescue a fallen soul like me. Look at the words. Although Gurudeva is dearest Vishnu Vigraha, yet he is dwelling in the hearts of all living beings of the world in the form of a Vaishnava. To rescue a fallen soul like me. To rescue a fallen soul like me. Gurudeva in human form is my only object of worship. Is my only object of worship. Gurudeva in human form. As a perfect man. In spite of his being a servitor of the highest object of worship of the Vaishnavas, his relation with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is inconceivable, simultaneous distinction and non-distinction. Achinta Bheda Bhed Tattva. So he is one with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he is also distinct from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu simultaneously. And this distinction and non-distinction is inconceivable. 
the visible world is eager to serve gurudeva but a man like me who is averse to god is satisfied in thinking gurudeva just as a perfect man they are manifestations of my gurudeva human beings as devotees of that perfect man are all vaishnavas they are manifestations of my gurudeva in various forms positively they are my guru varga and instructors negatively they are the persons who at the time of their performing bhajan are very much eager to hear delirium from an abominable wretched persons like me <laughs> who are very much eager to hear delirium from me they are my guru varga but they are very much eager to hear delirium from a person like me who is abominable wretched person it seems to me i am capable of reciting what i have heard from shri guru deva along with them i have got no audacity to teach the world because peculiar characteristics of vishnu vaishnav tatva are incomprehensible although they are eternally distinct they are at the same time non distinct which is inconceivable i have heard from guru deva that all objects of worship all kinds of worshipers and worship itself are eternally incorporated in absolute and undivided knowledge advai gyan shri krishna advai gyan shri krishna in spite of their incorporation in shri krishna they are eternal manifestations of variegatedness in divine pastimes myself and other living beings who are averse to hari guru vaishnava are deviated from eternal truth due to forgetfulness of the eternal variegated divine pastimes i have even got no capacity correctly to understand why i have become deviated in the context of my feeling eternity i am an eternal servant of shri krishna but i have lost remembrance that i am an internal servant of shri krishna as i have fallen into the pit of misconception of self now this is guru tatva according to our guru deva guru maharaj ji guru tatva mein badi simple bhasha mein sab kuch prakashit kiye hain thodi bahut samajhne ki zarurat hai guru ji kehte hain ke hamare jo guru dev hain wo sakshat chaitanya mahaprabhu aur sakshat chaitanya mahaprabhu ke das bhi hain यद्यपि अमार गुरु चैतनेर दास तथा भी जानी ही आमी ताहर प्रकाश तो ये साइमल्टेनियसली सर्विटर एंड महाप्रभु हिमसेल्फ दिस इज डिस्टिंक्ट एंड नॉन डिस्टिंक्ट एंड दिस इज साइमल्टेनियस एंड दिस इज इनकॉन्सेबल so this is inconceivable simultaneous distinction and non distinction of guru deva and mahaprabhu this is achint bheda bhed tatva of guru deva how can we understand this tat only by the causeless mercy of guru deva if guru deva will give us enlightenment 
everything will be clear to us. Just as the sun rays make us see the sun. Vancha kalpataru bhesha kripa sindhu bhaivacha patita nam pavanebhyu vaishnavebhyu namo nama.